All right, guys, thank you for choosing Orbit. In this video, I'll be demonstrating a uh, five liter uh, concentrator setup. <clears throat> right in front of me, I have a concentrator here. And what I wanna start off with is first explaining, you know, what everything is. Um, and then we'll go ahead and explain how to connect everything together and, uh, and set it up. So the concentrator has a power toggle right here to the right. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on. Uh, the initial boot up time is about 30 seconds. Right next to that power toggle, there's a reset button. This reset button will uh, be required to be pushed in if there is a power outage. To the left of the machine here, we have uh, the connector where you're gonna connect your, uh, your tubing. This is gonna be your dial. Uh, this is what you're gonna be turning uh, to your prescribed uh, liter flow. Most of our patients are at two liters per minute. So as you can see now, I've set it to two liters per minute. Um, and to the left here on this slot, we're going to install the humidifier bottle in a couple of seconds. If we move the machine here to <clears throat> the left, you're going to see a filter. There's a filter on the left and on the right. Uh, these filters are required to be cleaned once a week. And after you clean them with warm water, you're going to pat them dry and then you can simply put them back inside the cabinet like I'm doing. I'll go ahead and demonstrate the other side as well. Moving back to the interface, uh, green light. Now, as you can see, is on. I'm not sure if the video can capture it correctly. Uh, and then there's also uh, a light that'll come on on top here if there is issues with your concentrator. Most of the time, the concentrator will have a yellow light if the filters are dirty or, you ha or if you have a kink in your tubing. So we wanna make sure we're checking both of those uh, before calling the 800 number. But if the light still persists, go ahead and call the 800 number so they can send a technician like myself to replace the concentrator. What I'm gonna do next is simulate a power outage. So I'm gonna pull the cord from the wall and you should hear an uh, audible alarm. So if you guys ever hear that alarm, make sure that you're checking. Make sure the, the unit is still plugged in or checking your breaker. It is very important for you guys to connect the concentrator directly into the wall without using any extension cords or power strips. On the table here in front of me, I have the humidifier bottle, which I'm going to open up first. And we also have the connector. And as you can see right here, I'm just going to turn it to connect both of them together. What I'll do next is I'll open this up to demonstrate. And uh, I'm not sure if the camera can pick it up, but there's a max and a refill line. And what you want to make sure you're doing is uh, you want to make sure that you don't overfill this cup. You want to stop right here at the line. And you also want to make sure that you're using distilled water. What I'll do next is I'll bring it over to the machine, the concentrator here. And this end will connect to the concentrator. What I'll do next is I'm going to grab the tubing. Uh, for this demonstration, I'm grabbing the 40-foot tubing extension. Right in front of me, I have the, uh, the rest of the kit. So in your kit, you can expect to receive uh, E-Tank keys, your regulator, your uh, swivel connectors, a patient handbook, uh, your humidifier bottle and connector. Uh, you're going to receive a extension tube, 40-foot in length a 15 footer uh, 25 and then you're also going to receive cannulas these and i'll demonstrate in a second but these connect uh to the extension tubing and then go directly into a patient's nose so let's go ahead and start setting it up we're going to grab the humidifier bottle and then your connector here will connect right on top Gonna open this up 
And as you can see here, I'm not sure if the camera's picking it up, but there's gonna be a max line and a refill line. Uh, we wanna make sure as you pour only distilled water into the humidifier cup, make sure that you don't uh, exceed the max line there. This goes right left corner of the machine and this end will plug directly into the concentrator. What I'll do next is I'll go ahead and open up a uh, extension. This is a 40 foot one. It's got two open ends. One will plug directly into the humidifier bottle. What I'm gonna use next, these little guys are the silver connectors. And I'm also gonna open up uh, the four foot cannula and this goes into the patient's nose. So the tubing that goes into the patient's nose. So I'm going to grab the connector, plug this in like that. Obviously this end will uh, go into the patient's nose. You grab this one next. And this will plug it together. And obviously this will go into the patient's nose. Moving on to the rest of the kit. This is called an E-Tank, an emergency tank. And it'll come with a plastic tab. So I'll, for demonstration purposes, I've already taken it off. Um, and it's gonna have, here I'll move it to the floor. It has four sections, all right? What I'm looking for is this uh, interface here where it's got the, uh, the big hole and the two little ones underneath it. I'm gonna grab my regulator. And what I'm gonna try to do is line up these two uh, pegs into the small holes down here. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and have the cameraman give you a top bird's eye view. I'm gonna make sure that if your regulator comes like this, you unwind this to open it up, give you more space. And what I'll do next is I'll slide it down. And once I've inserted that properly, I'm gonna go ahead and tighten it. Now, some of our E-Tanks come with an integrated key. Right next to me here, I have an E-Tank that doesn't have the integrated key. And that's why we supply you guys with the plastic ones. So if this one uh, doesn't have a key, this slides down and you turn on the tank by uh, turning it counterclockwise. And I'll demonstrate using this one here. You can see right now it shows that the E-Tank is empty and we get a lot of calls uh, in regards to the emergency tank being empty. What you wanna make sure you do before you call Again, you're gonna rotate this counterclockwise. And as you can see now, the needle moved over to the 2000 PSI mark. All of our E-Tanks come at 2000 PSI. Now that I've got the uh, E-Tank turned on, I can go ahead and rotate this to two liters per minute um, for this demonstration. Uh, now, when you're not using the tank, what you wanna make sure to do is Make sure you rotate this back to zero. And now you're going to rotate it clockwise to turn off the tank. 